appraisal wizard, and I'm Matt Klein. So pretty much my original mission was to estimate the value of a house based on information about the other houses that had sold recently in its area. So right now we're looking at 237 North Bowling Green Way. Uh, I appraised it at 4.6 million, sold for 4.6 million and change or whatever. Um, and this is in 2015 that it sold, and we're in 2015 right now. So it's a pretty good estimate. And the way I did this is I executed a regression algorithm on the square feet of house, square feet of lot, and uh, the price it sold for. And then I only executed the regression algorithm on houses uh, in a certain geographical area, which I used the longitude and latitude of the houses. And then only in the same zip code as well, because zip codes also divide neighborhoods. So yeah, that's the appraisal function. Now, if you click over in this box, you can go to a different address. And we're going to move to 1433 El Bosque uh, Court, Pacific Palisades, California, 90272. So you can look up any house you want, because on the fly, I look up on Zillow's API information about that house, and then it just plugs the information about it, like square feet, when it was built, like where it is, into just the algorithm for the zip code and it just immediately loads up this appraisal and you see where it was last sold 2014 pretty accurate again so now we're going to get to the heat mapping function so you can see uh, we have price per square foot of house just the size of the houses um, square foot of lot uh, oh, yeah so I think this is pretty interesting uh, this neighborhood was built by a developer and you can see that um, because this was built first here at the bottom and then this was built and then this neighborhood up here was built and then they built the top um, and you can like visibly see how it gets warmer as you go up the hill and then that also correlates with the price uh, to some extent you can see uh, prices are usually higher near the top so yeah it's my term product um, the way that I plotted these dots is based on the longitudes and latitudes of the dots um, yeah, I had to scrape all this information from Zillow's API. I can only make a thousand API calls a day, so it only works on three zip codes. But if I loaded more information, it could work anywhere. So thank you for checking out my term project, and have a nice day.